Check out ChannelFireball.com to step up your game with videos and articles from the best in the world. You can use the code Gabby at checkout to help support this channel. YouTube and welcome. My name is Gabby. I've never been here before and we are drafting some vintage cube today. It's out on Magic Online from July 1st to July 29th. So we have a whole month of Cuban coming to the YouTubes. Um, what are we taking, chat? World is our oyster. First vintage cube of the, not the year, because we got vintage cube when the pandemic started. I actually wouldn't mind taking beep beep. Beep beep is very good. It would make us go into like a more like Lord of the Ground sort of deck. We could take Remand, I think is probably the best card. I kind of want to not take Remand. I kind of want to take the, the Smuggler's Copter and see where we go. We could do something interesting with this. I got to play your paper cube with some friends last week. That's exciting, Volcano. What kind of paper cube do you have? Stay brown? Yeah, stay brown, my friends. Ooh. So this is vintage, so it's powered, which means that we do have cards like Tinker, which make the like Blightsteel Colossus a little more appealing, especially we just took Scooter. That said, we could uh, take Breeding Pool, which is probably likely colors for us to be. Yeah, this is powers in this one, Purplish. This one's a vintage cube. So all the signets are in, because remember the legacy cube had all the signets out and uh, all the power nine is in as well. Yeah, so if we take Blightsteel, we're kind of like hoping for Tinker. I think we could take Revoker, that card's fine. I think this might be too early to take Revoker. I could see also taking Mind Twist. Cause like, if we end up taking a bunch of mana rocks, Mind Twist also becomes better. So uh, Academy on 3, I'm calling it, that'd be pretty cool. The chance for Tinker is beautiful, Jumbi. Blightsteel and just jam that brown ramp. Yeah, I'm kind of interested in the Blightsteel, honestly. I think there's a lot of things it can work with. Mm. All right, I, I am meant to try something like that. I don't actually think Mind Twist is like... I think some people like see Mind Twist as power. I don't think it's that good. It is good, it's just not that good. Um, Steam Vents is not bad. Nothing like super good here. It's my twist on Modern Cube, so a base of Modern Cube with some cool spells. Ray! Hey, hon, how are you? I'm happy to see you, too. Yeah, I actually think this one's Steam Vents. Wheel works with Brown Ramp. Yeah, so I actually like Wheel Effects um, in decks that have a lot of mana rocks. We don't have that many of those yet, and there's other draw sevens we could get. So I think, I think we should just take Steam Vents here. Wait, is, did they take out Tinker? I didn't actually see the changes. Well, okay, well, we ditched everything we were doing, and we're just obviously going to just take Oko now. We could stay on target, I guess, and take Warren Power Stone, but that just seems... Tinker is 100% in... Yeah, I, that's what I thought. Why would they take Tinker out? Okay, yeah, so so somebody was just trying to debate me. Yeah, I would be very surprised if they took out... Anything new in the cube? Yeah, I didn't go... I went through some of the changes... Um, we can take a look at them in a second. I'll pull it up and put it in the next window. Yeah, you kind of see Oko and you just kind of take Oko. I think we should just take this now, especially because we got the steam vent. Mm. Hmm. We should probably be just like Soul Tie, I think. With Leovold, we can just take Soul Tie and then just hose all the people who take the draw sevens. We need Academy now. There's a pretty good chance we're not playing the Blight Steel anymore. Let me move him over a little bit. Sorry, you thought they took it out. No, no, it's all good. But I was surprised. Are we keeping all day? We are, Mr. J. Nord. Welcome. Yeah, I'm going to take Leo. Leo's very good. These are pretty good. We can take... I mean, at the point at which we're taking Oko's, the stuff like Viv is pretty good. Harmonize is good card draw in these colors if we end up being this color. Dismember is obviously a fantastic removal spell. Karn's not bad. Lola taking a Karamas region, replacing it with Cultivate. That is some... You know, the thing that's brutal is I believe the reason that happened is because Cultivate is in the new set. But you know what's so embarrassing is that uh, Kodama's Reach has Storm Count for the Storm decks and Cultivate doesn't. Because <laughs> you can get it for free. You know what I mean? Um, you guys want to take Karn? I am kind of in for taking Karn. I actually kind of like, uh, like uh, once we have all these, having a big Planeswalkers deck. For arcane synergies. Is it an arcane spell? Is Cultivate an arcane spell? You're joking, right? Karamas is an arcane spell? I see. No. Time to start. What I'm saying is um, cult Or sorry. Wait. I thought they switched different cards. Maybe you're right, Time Sister. Hold on. What did they switch? They swapped... 
Hold on, we have to make a pick here. I guess Edric is fine. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought they replaced it with a card that's suspended. Never mind. Okay, well, it's still probably not. That is weird. I see. So Elspeth Aaron to Elspeth Sun's nemesis. I'm gonna take the trap here. Search for- I thought they replaced Search for Tomorrow and they put Cultivate in, and I was like, why would you do that? Like, the other card actually gives you Storm Count. Yeah, Trop. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Shark Typhoon with Arcane Artisan. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. Arcane Artisan's kind of fun. Mmm, Deranged Hermit. That actually looks okay here. Soul Scar Mage for Jackal Pup. That's fine. Luca Copper, Cout, Copper Coat Outcast for Underworld Breach. Abike was sad about that one. Terror of the Peaks for Rekindling Phoenix. That's worth giving a shot, I think. Thrag Tusk? Yeah, I think we'll take that. Cultivate for Kadama's Reach. Yep. 21, 21, 21. Thank you, obviously, Jesus. Welcome back for the 21 months. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. You have a list of little changes, but I picked Arcane Artisan in your first draft and I officially. Oh, really? I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bug that let you pick it. Regrowth or Shriek Maw? We're currently not necessarily blue. No, we're definitely blue. We're definitely blue green. I guess we're splashing black. I think that makes regrowth a little bit better. Mm, these are all bad. Elder Gargaroth was replaced for Wilderness Reclamation. Thank God. Why has Wilderness Reclamation stayed in for as long as it did is beyond me. Uh, we might actually... Nah, we're not gonna play that. Let's be real. Yeah, we we might play to see gray. I don't think we're playing the blight steel. No, Luca Squirrel. I know. I'm disappointed. Yorion Sky Nomad was uh put in to replace Geist the same Traff. That seems like a reasonable swap. <gasps> Ooh, piece of power. Luca's definitely in. Luca was put in, and Underworld Breach was taken out. And then the last change is Fiend Artisan is in and Garrick Cursed Huntsman is out. Why is Fiend Artisan in? Fiend Artisan gets plus one plus one for each creature card in your graveyard. And then for X, Golgari, and Tap, sack another creature, search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less, put it on the battlefield and shuffle your library. Activate this ability only at a time you would cast a sorcery. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna take that. Yeah, it's not like Kara Cur Cursed Huntsman was doing a lot. I'm just kind of interested in why it was added. I think, um, I don't know if we're playing the Edric, but it, it would be nice to pick up either mana creatures or ponders. Fiend Artisan is good, also, Jim Davis's previous, so hashtag respect. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Fiend Artisan can probably do some interesting stuff. I just don't. Um. I guess you could kind of use it in like... <gasps> Molly! Thank you, Molly. Welcome on in, Raiders. <laughs> I hope you had a really good vintage cube stream with Molly. I was watching, but I was mostly Merc lurking earlier today. Yeah, it's like a Green Sun Zenith, but it does have like different costs. It's a blessed raid. Classic Merc lurkers. Yeah, I, I had just had work to do earlier today, Molly, but I was scoperinoing. Uh, how was how was cube? How did you like it? Do you like the changes? I think I'm gonna take Lotus Cobra over Ponder here. Oh yeah, we've just we're just on salt high things, Mole. There's a cultivate. I think with what we're doing and especially with uh Oak or Leo in our deck, the cultivate looks nice. We could also take questing Beezy. I don't know how good that card is. Just, it seems kind of sketchy. The changes seem fine. The Fiend Artisan was hot. We were just talking about Fiend Artisan, Molly. What were you What were you playing it in? Literally just talking about this. I'm going to take the Cultivate for now. Oh, this is a banger. This is a blessing, chat. Manissa. Myers a UB duel. Yes. We need... Yeah, because it gets Steam Vent. That might have been worth taking because it is also a Black Source. You natural ordered a Primus into play, then sacked it for the second half and got something else. That's kind of sweet. I that's that's hot. I am liking it. Ooh, if it isn't the mooliest of duelists. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, Squirrel, right? 
I like this deck. This this deck is like truly a soul type pile, but soul type piles can be good in cube. Yeah, if only it were a courser. Tom! Tom, welcome back from seven months. How are you? I hope you've been doing well. How's quarantine been treating you? We're drafting some true Sultai Sultai piles here. Yes, exactly, Gabe Black Leak. It's not even up for debate, by the way. It's just objectively better. <laughs> you don't approve of these green cards. You know I usually am just a dirty blue drafter, but here we are. We've got some We've got some green cards. I'm trying to be more blue. Honestly, blue is like seems very cut. You can take wall of roots. How crazy is Yorion? It'd be... Be a little bit better if we had better stuff with it. It works with our Thrag Tusk and our Deranged Hermit, and that's kind of it. Yeah, agree with Quarantine being hella old. Yeah, I don't think Yorion's really for this deck. I think it will be sweet and, like... I think it's a cool addition. So what replaced... Uh, Geist of St. Traft left the cube to make space for Yorion. Yeah. Yeah, that seems fine. Play 60. I guess you can try to companion it up, huh? Oh my god, yeah, Wahoo. This, this quarantine is not ending anytime soon. Especially not here in the US, because people just like decided they were over it and then just started leaving and then now everyone's sick again. Wow. So if we take Coercive Portal, we could get some real value out of voting Carnage. <laughs> just randomly. Hmm. <laughs> Haven't, Tom. I, we were actually talking about this with Louise like two days ago. We want to update the cube with... Because we haven't updated it since Vegas last year. So we're going to take a look at all the sets that came out since then. I'm just going to take Preordain. Um, and uh, then we... Because we don't know when they're going to do the next cube spotlight series. But I think what I might do is take out some of the not real cards from the cube. And then make it into a cube list. And then submit it to the cube spotlight series. Because I think it would be cool if people could draft it. So we do want to do it. We just haven't gotten around to it. When we do it, I'll definitely let you know. Yeah, wouldn't that be so cool, Molly? Wouldn't it be so cool if our cube was the one on the cube spotlight series and then we could draft it for an entire week? It sounds so fun. I think we're just going to take Ludorino. This works with my Edric, yeah? This does deal combat damage, right? Yeah, it does. All right. Uh, man, this deck is look looking really mediocre. Can take Whisper, Whisper Dad. I might have issues, but if we do that, I think, Molly, we might actually change, like, a bit of stuff. We'll see. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. I want them to add Booster Tutor. It's so much fun. I, it would be impossible, though. I'll just take this, the sideboard. <laughs> I'll take Chantel for the sideboard. Super Late Recruiter. Oh, well, I'll take Jitte for the sideboard. I'm not playing any of these, not really. Maybe Treasure Cruise. This doesn't really look like a Treasure Cruise deck. Yo, Pabs, welcome. This is Soul Typhus. Classic archetype. I don't know. We got lured in by a Leo. What are you going to do? Pivot into Big Ramp. We actually, we actually haven't seen like all the pieces to Big Ramp either. Oh, I would snap off a uh, uh, draw seven here, Dokomoi. Yeah, classic Sultai, no fixing. We we also have to just prioritize some fixing here too. <laughs> I guess it happens. You want them to add Booster Tutor actively for your cube spotlight? Wouldn't that be so sweet? The way we do it on my cube is we just pick a pile of cards that are not drafted. So like the the, the stuff that was left over from the cube draft, which actually makes it kind of interesting because, I mean, we should just take bribery here, probably. I wish they would just take bribery out. Why don't they just take bribery out? This card is stupid. I guess we could take natural order, too. Seems impossible to program. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure it's not doable, slew bars. But the reason it's cool in real life is because you actually pay attention to what did get drafted around the table, because then you know that there's possible outs outside of the cube, because you you know you can't get stuff like card that like cards that people drafted. Uh, I'm just gonna take bribery. What are you gonna do? We still haven't seen much fixing, huh? Take metamorph, bribery, but a lot. If we had better top end targets, I think it would be a little more acceptable to take the natural order. But we also don't have that many, like, small critters. This regrowth is not looking great. 
You have a Maya Felder's fixing? You're gonna get banned for saying that, Dokomoi. You best watch out. Oh, Hydra Crisis is an actual payoff for what we're doing. Oh, no, 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 buy you. So we have, what, Steam Vent, which is... Maybe we should have taken that Bloodstained Maya, Yuka, you're right. Oh, shoot, there's a bird, though. Oh, no. I think maybe it's just Birds of Paradise. Wonder Run any three-minute ramp spell over Elder. <laughs> I don't get it, man. I don't get it either. Yeah, I think Birds is more important too, Yuka. Brutal, though. We could take Siggy. can get Siggy with it. It's both... Helps us get from two to our fours and fives, which we have many of. And also plays the Leo. I don't think you'd take Emmy over fixing here, Slubars. We could also maybe take... Badlands, if we get a fetch, we can't. Well, we know Bloodstained Mire is gone, but we could still turn it into a dual land somehow. Lazy, that bop emote is really funny. Yeah, Phantasmal is very good. I kind of feel like we need Siggy a little bit more, though, sadly. Do we have anything that works with Snappy? Preordain, Cultivate. Wow, this Snapcaster is mediocre. Oh, Ray, I saw I got a stream gifts. I haven't gotten it yet. I'm gonna, I have, it hasn't arrived, so, it was a while ago, too. You know, Stream Gifts um, has an open ticket right now for for another thing that Persolini sent that hasn't gotten here, so I might have to ask him about it. I know that shipping's been weird right now during the pandemic, so there's a chance it just hasn't arrived yet. You didn't people leave? <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to take out the copter. I I was reorganizing stuff and I accidentally took it out. I think I'm just going to take Snappy and see if we can get there on something. I don't know. It's literally anything. Take Mana Leak now. We don't have great targets for Snappy Purplish. We have Preordain, Cultivate, and we're about to take a Mana Leak. So that's... Oh, I guess Bribery also. They usually just win on the spot with Bribery. Leak is a pretty good target yeah, for Snappy because you just do it on four. Pernicious is funny with walkers. It is nice. I've seen people try to kill stuff they can't. Thank you, so, thank you so much, hon. I appreciate that, Ray. I'm going to be on the lookout for it. So it's Dark Slick or Fiendhorn Elves. I kind of do feel like we really want to play this Leo. We didn't really see a draw seven, huh? That is, that is a bummer. I think we should take Dark Slick. I really want to try to play. Oh, Time Warp is kind of what we needed. That's actually a good one. And it works with Snappy, too. Yeah, I like lands at this point, too, Pabs, because we, we have enough playables. Like, we can r run regrowth if we need to. Tracker, though. Oh, you're right, you come. Wow. I don't actually know. Maybe Tracker's just better here. Do we have fetches? We do not. We haven't picked up... Ugh. Our fixing's been so bad this game. Conan, thank you for the 30. Welcome back, my friend. All right, I'm just going to play Tireless Tracker anyway. We are not playing any of these we'll hate draft the student of warfare yeah i do like time warp when you have uh planeswalkers like we have oko and karn but i do think tireless tracker is just like really 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 powerful so seems worth taking we're not playing any of these hey drafting your own invitational cards that's how it works ramming up excavator to the sideboard fauna shaman does not look like it does anything we want sadly wow no respect to the ready I'll take Pernicious Dean, which I guess we can sideboard in. We might actually play Master of the Wild Hunt. Yeah, wait, Peppa, that's true. I also Deep Shadow would have been good in this deck. All right, so what are we cutting? Because this is 24, and I don't think we have enough ramp to... This deck is certainly a deck, Squirrel. It's not very good. It's truly a heinous pile. The only good card we have really is Oko. Oh, we have Bribery too, I suppose. All right, that sounds fine, Teddy. <laughs> I know, Conan. Probably, Squirrel. I watched BK do a train wreck of a draft yesterday. <laughs> Obviously, he's going to be forcing Luca. Obviously, he's forcing Luca. Okay, we need to make one cut. We could cut the Snapcaster Mage. Honestly, it doesn't look very good. It only hits Preordain, Mana Leak, and Bribery and Cultivate. I guess that's four hits. Yo! RV, welcome! How goes it? This Luca seems aggressively medium. Ah, uh, no, 
Hook is okay. It is just like another like kind of through the breach sort of effect. Yeah, penguin. <laughs> oh my god. UCF, that five color shrines deck was a disaster. <laughs> that, that was a true, true monstrosity. You know, Snappy works with our Edric, so maybe we just cut something at the top end. Maybe we just cut... Mm, it's a three. I like Cultivate with Tireless Tracker, too. I could see cutting Master, maybe, or Hermit. Yeah, maybe it's one of our fives. Let me cut Deranged Hermit. Like, Whisperwood Elemental makes multiple copies of things, as well as Master of the Wild Hunt for the purposes of Edric, so we don't really need Deranged Hermit. We don't have, like, a hoe for anything. So let's go Trop, Mox Ruby, Dark Slick Shores, and Steam Vents doesn't actually fix for anything, right? So for black, all right, time to pull out my draft so that we make some quick maths. Can I get your thoughts on M21? So since I actually quite like it quite a bit, it is, I think the blue red spells deck is like very, very strong. They just put so many cards that, it's like enable that archetype that are pretty good. I think the reanimator deck is also quite good. Um... I haven't liked, like, Golgari or Azorius, I don't think. I don't really know what you're supposed to be doing in those archetypes. Like, it doesn't feel like the payoffs are really there. Green, green is, green has some good cards. There's some aggressively medium commons. Like, do not ever take the stupid, what's it called? There's, like, a 4-2 that has, like, a lore. It's awful. And then there's, like, a 4-mana 2-2 two -two death touch that when it attacks, it's a 4-4. Four -four. That card is also awful. <laughs> Mm, yeah, the 4-2 is just so aggressively medium. All right, so what are we doing for black mana? We have Dark Slick Shores, we have Birds of Paradise, Lotus Cobra. Oh, wait, wait a second. Do we want to run the regrowth? I guess being able to buy back some of our best cards is actually decent. Sure, like Jitsa is playable. Um... Vintage in Vintage Cube, Jitte is not really at its best, and I don't know if this deck is a deck that wants Jitte. To be honest, like I like that it may be like a mono white deck or something, like a white weenie deck. I don't actually think I want it in this one. Um. So sorry, I lost count. Dark Slick Shores, Birds of Paradise, Lotus Cobra, Cultivate. So that's four black sources if we don't add a swamp. So what does it suggest? 5-8. That puts us at... Oh, sorry. We have the Siggy too. Thank you very much. That's 5 black. That's that's actually much better. That means we don't have to add a swamp. So then this will put us at... 8 forest, 9 with Tropical Island. And then... 5 with Island, 6 with Trop, 7 with Dark Slick, 8 with Birds, 9 with Lotus Cobra, 10 with Cultivate. So we can definitely cut an Island and go up to 10 Forests, and then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep, yeah, this is 10, 9, 5. That's okay for a mana base. Ooh, did I miscount? No, we do want to go to 17. I think I'm missing just a Forest. Yo, Rob Flo, welcome. Yeah, this look, this deck is not it's not great, but it's not terrible. It is certainly playable. We also might board in Gite. Like if we see that they don't have a ton of removal and they're playing creatures, like that sounds pretty good. Yes, this is this is not this is missing the like top end that the green ramp decks have and it doesn't have like the acceleration that those decks have either but it does have some powerful cards mostly oko the oko is very good and the bribery is quite good and then everything else is just kind of okay oh my gosh fiddles malefic Scythe is kind of jete i know it's not exactly but it is it is very i've been very impressed with that card all right well we're gonna keep this yo essie welcome back how are you? Vintage Cube is back, baby. We get it for an entire month. Sure. 
Yeah, Tireless Tracker is good even without fetches. It really, you don't need fetches for that card to be really good. That card's just really good on its own. Way too frosty. Stay frosty, my friends. Welcome back with the three months. How are you? You're mad but enjoying the distraction? I don't like to hear that. I hope things get better soon. Hmm. Agree, God. If we had an opposition, this deck would be like, what the f? Wow, that is some bullshit. I think we just start ticking up with Oko. Make some food. God, Reclamation Sage. Earlier today, BK was playing Vintage Cube. Or was it yesterday? I don't remember. No. It was during his lunch break. And uh, <laughs> he plays he plays um, Memory Jar. And I'm like, he's playing against the Mono Green deck. I'm like, dude, they're going to play Reclamation Sage. And opponent goes literally one, two, three, Reclamation Sage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Oko's very good. We're going to see what they do about it. They can, they can attack Oko down to three here. This is four. It was really funny because you know it was. Wait, what the hell is this? Don't. Don't get stupid, Elefante, please. No, Elefante. No, Elefante. <laughs> My permanents are about to be irrelevant. Because, listen, depending on what they get, we could just metamorph their thing. Huff. Huff would be annoying. It would kill Oko. They, they're tanking. Yeah, exactly, Molly. If it's not literally Elefante, we might, we could, we could get out of this, maybe. I hope it's just like Primeval Titan or something. Like just something chill. Just something a little chill. <laughs> Jules. Jules. It was Huff. It's Huff to just kill my Oko. That's fine. We even have a regrowth. We can get that later. Okay. Yes, that that was fine. It wasn't great, obviously. So... <laughs> Do we just make our own hoof? The problem with making our own hoof is that they have a noble hierarch. Yeah, our hoof is worse because they have noble hierarch, so we don't actually get to just copy something here. Bummer. I still think we should. It, we can't really race the damage, but bribery might be able to do some work here. So I, I do believe we should copy this hoof. Yeah. Archie, I think I'm just going to play this attack with hoof. And um, take a six next turn and then play bribery and see what we get. Also, we might get close to snappy bribery if we keep drawing lands. You're wondering how good of a target they have for bribery. They got a hoof in there. Jameson, it feels like Woodfall Primus or Elefante would have just been better. So it's weird that they chose a hoof because the other ones could have dealt with my Oko just in a cleaner way. It's possible they have those cards, but they have it in hand. So they couldn't do anything about it. Oh, at least the hoof isn't like going to come in ETB and kill us with all the stuff. Oh, I see, Jameson. I see. I see your point. I decay if they have a better target than Huff. Well, we can't really win by not casting this bribery. Oh. Oh, hello. What's Elefante? It's um. I was gonna say it's Nasty Terrasty, but that's not even its real name. <laughs> it's a uh, Terastodon, the nine drop. I I'm just gonna bribery still. I think. And then next turn we can Nissa. Let's see what we've got. Drain Hermit, Acidic Slime. Acidic Slime's not bad. It kills their clue or a land and then it blocks the hoof. We could also just take Prime Time and start jamming. Yeah, all right, let's do Prime Time. We didn't get any cool land, sadly. So what can we do? Let's get Dark Slick Shores and a Blue Swords. Actually, no, Trop, because we have Nissa. I think we just pass here. 
I think I want to get the Dark Slug Shores because if we draw Leo, we will want to play it. But I think every time we attack with Prime Time, we're just going to get Forests. Oh, no. Oh, they had Carnitas, but it was in hand. Uh, Snap Bribery is going to be good. Hmm. I feel like we do block. We'll have to deal with a Carnage Tyrant, but I think... Yeah, Snap Bribery is going to be good. Yeah, I think we do block. We're at 14. We can't really be just taking a million damage. Would I trade Prime for Hoof? Yeah, I think that's... I think it's fine. Uh, What was the best thing that we can get? We should do it this turn. Can we also Nissa? I am that of, of that I am not sure. Let me see. We can go one, two, three, four, five. If we do that, we play Nissa. Untap this. Then we play this. And no. We are short one, I believe. Oh, maybe if I tap island instead. Oh, hold on. What if I tap... What if I tap Trop instead? Because then I can untap... So if I go like... Green... Two... Three... No, I need Trop tapped. We need triple blue is the thing. Two islands, three forests works, I think. Let's see. Two islands, three forests. So we do this. We go Nissa, untap, forest. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yes, yes, this works. Yes, this works. You're right, you're right. Yep, this works. All right. So let's go, we got to make blue there. And then that's five, and then we untap. Any forest work? No, 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 because we need to triple blue. Yeah, it has to be trop. Yeah, so now we go snappy, one. Yeah, we did it. All right, thanks, chat. That was, that was a kind of complicated one. <laughs> Cast with flashback, choose them. I think we're getting probably Whisperwood Elemental with this one. Acidic Slime, Absence Pilgrim, Deranged Hermit. Oh, Elder Gargaroth, lol. Or Whisperwood Elemental. I kind of feel like Elemental. I mean, Gargaroth is really good, but the thing attacks as a 7 power, right? And this is only a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, I, it might be just Acidic Slime. They can't attack the Rosidic Slime at all. The other alternative is we buy enough time that we... Because we're going to have an army of things with Nissa anyway. Yeah, you know what? I am going to get Acidic Slime. I think that might be the best bet. Let's boop. We do get value from Gargaroth block. We'd have to double block. Uh, let's get the clue. No attacks. All right, and then we're just going to have this Nissa take us home, basically. Land, NFC, they have so many creatures. Like, so many mana creatures. Uh, what's the best that thing gets? Elder Gargaroth, maybe? Jiroga Tree Speaker. I like the clue destruction. That's pretty nice. Sure. They have enough mana to make the clue. It's a green deck. Look at how many mana creatures they have. I'd rather they just don't draw a card. They're attacking Nissa. What happens if I just block here? My Nissa dies. I think we should double block. I think having Nissa around is pretty important. All their squad. Oh, maybe that's cute, Molly. I like that. Block with snap and slime and it lives. <laughs> and then we get to keep the hoof. 
Yeah. Well, Snap and Hoof, I mean, this takes it down and it makes Nissa live. Because she only takes five. All right, I'm going to block like this. I want to have this around because this is going to be big in case they have like Gargaroth or something. Hey, Double Pecker, welcome. Magic is still very fun. When's the last time you played? All right, this is working out. Dees. Oh, that's a good draw too, baby. So... Nothing here is too big. I think we can go one, two, three, four. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm gonna start sending... I'm gonna send a forest. Doesn't matter if it dies, not really. We don't have like a lot of X spells or anything. Yep. They're in trouble now. Glad to see our drams. I got to play Kara Huff. Yeah, it's not bad. Well, it's not our Huff, <laughs> to be clear. <laughs> but it's not. Oh, bug. All right, so we'll flip that at the end of their turn. 98? Oh, yeah, you missed a couple sets. Just like un poquito. Hmm. Hey, Aphrodite, we're playing a Sultai, like, pile of cards, basically. What the hell? How is this one trick? Luis, this is just, like, a horrible deck. How is this my one trick? You know, I sent VK the uh, one with the wind and Merfolk trickster, and he didn't get it. Oh! We know what's left in their deck, though. There's nothing, like, that exciting. Yes, it really was open. This is... This is... Wait! What the hell? Where was Progenitus when we were looking at it? Oh, it was in their hand! It was in their hand! Okay, okay, uh, okay. Cal remain calm. Riley! I'm gonna just jam next turn, Molly. That's my- What's up, nerds? Hey, Riley, it's good to see you. How's your stream? Welcome, welcome, we're playing some Vintage Keep today. My opponent just- Yes! We beat Progenitus, baby! Battle Ram, thank you for the 14 months. Welcome back, my friend. So we're playing against another just like green ramp deck that's kind of doing what we're doing except better. Kind of liking this Oblivion Stone. <laughs> they have the blockers. Yeah, we were going to untap and just get him. Thank you. Welcome, Archie. Welcome, Great God Ohm. Hi, a Battle Ram. Bum, bum. Hey, DC Rainer. Thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate that. Non-zero chance that the Jitte is actually kind of sweet against this deck. We could consider that. Let's see. What else? <laughs> yeah. Drain Hermit so we can bribery their hoof. Oh, that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, Vintage Cube came up today. It's up for an entire month, uh, UP Sol. Yeah, they have a lot of dorks. I think we can play the Jitte. What, what do we cut? We could cut Luteral Core. It's not looking like super amazing here. And, uh, oh, that Snapcaster Mage flashing back the bribery was. Karn? Karn seems okay. It's not amazing. I could see cutting Karn. Oh, the looter does wear the Jitte really well. You're right about that. Okay, so if we do that, we can cut the Karn at the looter and... Yo, Darzag, Welcome! I do like Master against their deck. What else can we cut? Oh, Edric doesn't seem like it's actually doing the thing here. They they go super wide. We're not really going to be getting a bunch of... We're not sneaking creatures across, I don't think. Ah, uh, yeah. We can keep this. Thragtusk might be okay. Uh, maybe it's mediocre. Okay. We did not pick up that dismember, did we? Oh, Lotus Cobra is not bad. Birds of Paradise is not bad. So. We can actually keep both. Because we can go. Oh, no, it doesn't work. We're going to go land Lotus Cobra and then we don't get to play the Birds of Paradise. Yeah, I believe we only want the Cobra. So let me bottom and then top. Yeah. 
If only we could bribe our own blight steel. I know. That would be sweet. Oh my god, Essie. No. No one remembers that because that was never a good deck. Ark. <laughs> Welcome. I know. I was just complaining about bribery, actually. And how stupid it is. Okay, that sounds good for when we have to buy back our Oko. Our for Loco. How's it going, Goober? Good, all right. Thanks for asking. This is a kind of just salty pile. There's not a better word for it. That is kind of a lot of dorks. I'm not happy about it. This is six mana. Yeah, that's bad for me. That's pretty bad. This is turn three Titan? Yeah, we can't really beat that. I guess next turn we can go snappy into preordain. Mm. That is true, Dokomoy. Uh, yeah, I mean. They're going to kill us with prime time before they flood. I guess we can just try to hope to bribery them soon. We can do it next turn. So let's go. Do we even want to go <laughs> Snapcaster Mage Flashback Preordain? With Lotus Cobra, we could just go like regrowth into Preordain right now. And then next turn we go bribery. And then we can try to do a turn where we go Snapcaster Bribery again. That might be better actually. Uh, I'm gonna make a green source with this because I think we we have dorks we can hit. Metamorph's not bad. Oh, these are both quite good actually. So how much mana does it take to do this? The ship may have sailed on prime time because it's like, oh, stone still leaves them with a ton of mana. I guess they only have two lands in play. Hmm. Maybe we just bottom the Yostone and keep the Metamorph? They have Noble Hierarch, which me makes this also like kind of bad. Yeah, maybe the Metamorph's not good. Maybe we bottom the Metamorph and we keep the Yostone, but the intent... We're going to let this mana go to waste. The intent is for us to... try to deal with this board before O-Stoning. Oh man, they might just hoof us here. Seven. Eight. That's eight. But they didn't tap the Temple Garden. That's weird. Why did they tap their Noble Hierarch and not the Temple Garden? That was strange. Maybe it was Mana Tithe? I guess I could see that. That would make a lot of sense, Ark. Why else would they do that? There's like no other reason, right? Mmm... Mmm, suspicious. Oh, Noble does tap for white. I don't know, then I have no idea. <laughs> Hippo fan. <laughs> the deep cuts. Those are some deep cuts. All right, we're going to keep the O-Stone because I do think it's good against them. I just... Wait, maybe we want Pernicious Deed. Maybe Pernicious Deed is better than No Stone, actually. Let me play that. It kills some of our stuff, too, but it might actually be able to kill some of their mana dorks, like, pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, Ark is like, on that note, Molly, how was today's stream? Question mark. Was the Stip draft bribery? No, Calc. The Stip was try to draft a good deck, except we made mistakes. This is okay. We've got the pernicious deed. We got the Jitte. That might actually do some work. Yeah, we're not we're not planning on killing Progenitus with this pernicious deed. I think we only want it to like kill their small creatures. New hair, Nether, welcome. Ah, uh, this is interesting. Lol, Lord of Ham. That's like the. That is the. That is the question, isn't it? So if I keep both of these on top... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, Molly. I'm going to do both. So I'm going to go top and top. 
And then what I'm going to do next turn is play the Ruby, play the Cobra, play the Trop, two mana, play the Jitte. Please enjoy the following based on what I you enjoy the most. Dunking on Molly, dunking on Squirrel, dunking on BK. Oh, have you seen the meme of like, it's the same picture? <laughs> oh man, I can't actually do that play because I played my island turn one to play the Preordain. So that plan is not going to work. Shame. That's okay. We got to go forest into Lotus Cobra. I was supposed to play turn one island. I had Preordain in my hand. It just... It's just stupid. It's okay. We get to play Thrag Tusk next turn. But anyway, that, that is my ordering, Dokomori. It's the same picture. <laughs> Zigus. Yeah, maybe Jitte is just better. How are we... So this is when it deals combat damage. Yeah, so I do think we just want to play the Jitte and then attack with a Cobra. They don't have... They can't block. Like, they can block me, but then I can just kill, like, this. We could Deed, too. Deed for two? I lose my Cobra. Because I can go, like, does this hit artifacts, too? It does destroy artifacts. We could deed for one. To deed for one, we have to play... Oh, no, we can just play Trop. Yeah. That is kind of spicy. I think I am going to do that. Let me go Trop. Get a black source. I don't know what you're talking about, Yol. One, two, three. Sack deed for one. Boop. Yes, it would be hard to use deed after this, so that's another reason to use it right there. I don't think I'm going to play the Mox Ruby because they have stuff. All right, you are done here. I know, how the tables have turned. That's what you get for playing a bunch of 1-1s. One <gasps> Kenji! Holy moly, that gi ginormous raid. Welcome on in, raiders. You're coming in right on time. Well, not right on time, because we're not in the draft. But we're in game one of our draft. Welcome, Seven Shrine. Hey, Joe. Hey, Frizzy. Hey, Romy. New mod flood! I hope you had a really good time with Kenji today. We are... Playing some cube. Wow, look at this raid. It's out of control, baby. Oh, is that for new mods? Is that for Kenji's Reese's sponsorship? That's so sick. <laughs> I love it, Kenji. That's so cool. I don't even know if Kenji's here, but anyway, I very much appreciate the raid. Hope you had a really good stream with Kenji. Let's get loud. Let's get loud. We're just gonna get. Hey, so the end. Welcome on in. Ginormous knob. Yeah, for reals. I think we just get a green source for this. You are Kenji. Like you've assimilated to Kenji. Let me cast this. Please say Reese's again and show the people how it's pronounced. Are people... Are people... um Don't know how to pronounce it? That's really weird. I think we'd rather just play... Actually, maybe we play Master of the Wild Hunt and... Hold on. Master of the Wild Hunt and Jitte. All our Kenji. <laughs> yeah, Master into Jitte is really nice too. I mean, this does give them the out of my maybe like playing Acidic Slime this turn, but I think if it happens, it's not really that big a deal. Kenji says re resize? He calls it resize? Resize? Why though? Oh, re. Resis. Oh, Reese's instead of Reese's. Got it. Reese's. Oh, god damn. What do you know? They had the reclamation sage. 
This containment priest, I think, hurts them more than it hurts us. It's a non-token creature that went into the battlefield if it wasn't cast exiled instead. I thought it was Reese's. That's what I've been told. Rest in pieces like that. <laughs> Lay off my Reese's. <laughs> Kenji, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate that. I hope you had a really awesome stream today. Uh, How does it feel? It feels bad, BK. I think we want to fight the Elves of Deep Shadow just so they can't have it. Oh, bummer. We don't have a land, so we can't play. <laughs> Stop, Luis. I know what you're talking about. You're being bad. Oh, it is Rhesus? Yes, you put a voice in my head. You really did do that. I think it's worth it to Humph. I don't really care if they attack me. They can't attack past the Ragtusk. And I think as long as they have... Why are they containment priesting us? Reese's Pieces? Reese's... Reese's... Isn't it Reese's Pieces? Hold on. You're, you're all making me, like, second-guess myself. <laughs> oh, it's because of the bribery. You're right. I was like, nothing in my deck even does that. <laughs> Um, can't play Leo, sadly. Let's just start attacking with Ragtusk. I guess if they want to block a bunch of stuff, that's fine. Yeah, whatever. Let's just send with these two. Nothing in my deck, but... Ooh, hold on. Hold on. I think we're going to get to juke them here. Oh, that did not work out the way they wanted to! Master of the Wild Punt, living up to his name. It rhymes with pieces. So Reese's, Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces? So is Kenji saying it right? Reese's Pieces. Everything I've ever known is fake! This is horrible, Molly. I don't like it. Oh, do they really not have anything? Friggin' jam. Get in there, baby. I know, I'm I'm starting to question everything I know. Sure. Uh, should we even really play Molly Dooley? I kind of feel like we should just pass. Like, what's... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna pass. There's, they're so dead. Hold on, I want to see the status. What is this, Louise? The corporate communications team. I work on the corporate communications team at the Hershey Company. The Reese's brand is named after H.B. Reese, who invented the product. He's from Hershey, Pennsylvania. Milton Hershey, who was the founder of the Hershey Company, knew him, bought the brand, and now it's part of the Hershey Company family. And to settle it once and for all, it's Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Not Reese's. Reese's. Oh my god, I've been saying it wrong! Uh... <sighs> what could they even get here? Wow, I've been saying it wrong all my life! This is a disaster. So it's Reese's. Reese's Pieces. It does make sense because it rhymes better. <laughs> yeah, this is horrible, Ark. Uh, do we mana leak this? Nah, screw it. How shatters my worldview? Everything I thought was real is not real anymore. Also, I could go for some Reese's Pieces. I could go for Reese's Pieces. Is that Reese's? <laughs> I don't know what they can get here, honestly. We saw everything on their deck. Hey, Fuzzy Wuzzy. I'm trying, Molly. What the hell? Where was... Did they just have the Dawn in their hand the entire last game? My opponent's playing mind games on me. I'm not even mad. I'm just impressed. Where was this Elefante like five minutes ago? You tell me. Where was it? I didn't know Wags. I okay. 
I at least have an excuse, chat. English is my second language. I think it's like perfectly reasonable that I would see it in. Oh, <laughs> bug. All right. Oko, deliver us from evil. Pika Oko. Boop. What's my first language? It's Spanish. We haven't drawn a land. I know it's going to sound like complaining. I'm really not, but we haven't drawn a land, so we haven't been able to play Leo, but we've obviously drawn action the entire time. So they're all three threes. They're on oops, all threes. Uh, what happens if we attack with everyone here? We can start using the wolves to trade up. Molly, I wasn't complaining. I led by saying I wasn't complaining. Literally said that. I think we can attack with Thrag Dusk. Leaves back a 3-3 three, three anyways. I kind of have to block it. <laughs> oh, man. Molly, Molly, Molly's on my case today. Molly must have had a bad cube day. <laughs> I... Do I care about that? I don't really care about that. I... No, nah, I'm gonna let them resolve that. I can just fight with the wolves. Humph. Make more wolves. So they have three blockers. Oh my gosh, my black source lol. I guess I get a black source off of Lotus Cobra anyway. If I animate my Mox Ruby and turn into a 3 3 and attack with all, yep, they're dead. I, I, I was like 95% of the way sure that it was lethal and then they just conceded. So I think, I think they were sure that it was. Wow, we're playing in Spicy Fart. One, two, three. Man, Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. I did see the progenitors in hand, Keck. Can I get Acidic Slime so I can just boop that Shelly? I'm jealous. I'm honestly just mad because I wanted Sheldrake Island instead I have a Luteral Core and Bird to Paradise. Is this the only league that I- Nah, we're definitely playing another one, my Peppo. Clearly, Baldoric. There's just so many spicy farts out there. Yeah, once again, the two cards that are the only two good cards in our deck took us to victory. Selesnia Siggy. Get Siggy with it? I think we should just cultivate. Oh, Pog. Isla. Cultivate. Cultivar. My coin should be called Reese, Re Reese's instead of Rupees. Now I'm gonna like, now I've said it so much that I'm gonna start second guessing myself. I need a blue source and a forest. And then I wanna put blue in play. <laughs> Do I like them adding Cultivate or should they have stuck with Kodama's Reach? Um, I mean, I, I guess it gives you arcane synergies. I don't know, dude. Seems not, it seems weird. I really hope they, like, actually play something with this two mana. Oh, that's rude. Is this unless it's a non- Wow. That's really rude. That was messed up. What the hell just happened? I like that, Wahoo. Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. It rhymes. No lie, though, one of my favorite things to do, um, hashtag not sponsored by Reese's, is it does make a lot of sense, Molly. You're you're not wrong about that. Wait, I can't ride ride with them, Boogaloo. My Birds of Paradise is out of commission. I think we just play Oracle Mooly Dooly. We'll do it next turn. Nah, you're good. This is Vintage Cube. It's back, Scott. Oh, bummer. Whatever. Play a forest. Yeah, our our boppers is daubers. This is gonna do good work against Garrick. 
What do you think about the Kurama's Reach versus Cultivate Molly? Have you guys not seen Dobbers? Dobbers is great. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> oh no, I don't like that. They are a big green ramp deck. Let's go, let's hope that they have something better in their deck than they had prime time in their hand. Reach does kind of have better art. That is a point in favor. When they keep coming back today. They have a, they picked up a Gaia's Cradle and some other nonsense. Sure, they don't have that much stuff in hand. All right, let's hope they don't have like Pact of Negation or something stupid like that. Can I play Nissa into Bribery? I can go one, two, three. Four, five. Oh, sorry, I can't. My my boppers is dead. But then I can play trop and untap a land. I'm no, it doesn't work. Shoot, bummer. Trop into bribery, I guess. Ooh, what's this? Um. So obviously we're just gonna take the Primus. They have a Nissa and a Karn as well. This looks a lot like our deck, actually. They have uh, Urza, which is a little scary. Phyrexian Metamorph is kind of scary. You miss Gym Class Heroes? I used to love Gym Class Heroes. So let's definitely take the Woodfall Primus. We're gonna boop the... Real question, did we boop the Garrick or did we boop the Shelly? I kind of feel like it's just Garrick. Oh, we're drawing Whisperwood Elemental. That was a good shuffle. You wanted to do Cradle? Uh, so I actually, the reason I don't care about Cradle at the moment is because they only have two creatures in play. They have a lot of mana already. Shelly's not online yet, and this is actually generating them two mana a turn, potentially more with Cradle. So Progenitus in their hand again. Well, this is a different opponent. Right? No, 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 this is the same opponent. No, this is a different opponent. He's a different opponent. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, that's bad. All right. Honestly, now we might chomp. We could double block Mooly Dooley and Woodfall Primus to the Huff, kill the Huff, and then kill the Shelly. No, I know they have Trample Arc. I just mean, I think this might be a good trade because we get it back. Wait, do we not get Primus back? They get the Primus? Oh, that's a bummer. Never mind. We are just taking some damage then. Oh, it's... Owner's control with a minus one, minus one counter on it. You are right. Can't do that. A real shame. Well, I guess we have to beat whatever's underneath the Shelly, but we do get to play Nissa into Whisperwood next turn. They could have uh they could have sent with Revoker, honestly, given the way that played out. So let's go Forest off the top, Lotus Cobra off the top. So one, two, three, four, five. Play Nissa. Oh, I guess we do just put that there. If they think th that I'm gonna try to block one of these two, then they should send this. If they don't think I'm gonna, they should keep it back. Mm. Man, I wish... I mean, Whisperwood does make a lot of blockers, so I guess I do just have to animate the forest. 
One, two, three, four. Oh, we have to tap everything. Five. All right, and manifest something good. I'm really worried about what they have underneath that Shelly. We're going to have a tough time with this. Oh, we could have hit first. You're right. Yeah, that, that was worth doing. I am not really attacking with anyone else, though, because we're at three. Lotus Cobra into Thrag Tusk. Thrag Tusk is a good draw. That's actually, like, a very good draw. It can trade with Crater Huff. This doesn't have trample normally, right? Nah. God, I hope I hope not, Molly. They're down to 22 cards and then primetime fetches too, so they're gonna be able to Shelly us this turn. Nice, Scott. Reej! Welcome, Reej. How are you? It is fantastic to see you. Uh, what are we blocking with? The gym was amazing. Oh, did you go to the gym for the first time? That is awesome. We can't trade the Woodfall Primus. We could just go, honestly, like Whisperwood and this. And then that lets us keep Oracle and Woodfall Primus. And then it does kill this permanently. Then this can, like, battle off against that. It's a little sad to lose our Whisperwood this way, but... We just can't be taking damage. I know, the Shelly's gonna get us, Dunlock. Oh, they're casting it right now. Let's see. Show us the goods! Oh, yeah, that's kind of a problem. Tangle wire? Jeez! That is a weird one to Shelly, but they're gonna... Oh, holy moly! <gasps> wow. They freaking got us. Ah, they their deck is wild. They went winter orb tangle wire? That's wild. We're just dead. I conceded. Why do I have to tap? Okay, there you go. <laughs> I cannot believe that just happened. Where will you be when, through no fault of your own, you're going to get hit by surprise stacks? They're stacking us like kind of like Deranged Hermit. Yeah, that... That... That, uh, that escalated quickly. Uh, that was a hell of a... <laughs> That's funny, Nucleo. What do we make... Uh, what do we make some cuts for? I think Deranged Hermit is good if they're trying to... Tangle wire us because it, it essentially like strands the card in their hand. Smuggler's Copter looks good for attacking some of their planeswalkers. Maybe regrowth is like looking a little slow here. Yes, that's exactly what happened, Penguin. Bye, bye, bye. Sell, 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 sell. <laughs> that was wild. You picked a bad time to come out of lurk mode? Nah, Brendy, you picked a fine time to come out of lurk mode. How's your day going? That is kind of weird, Synth. It's like flipped, right? Shouldn't it be blue on the way up and red on the way down? I would imagine that that's what makes sense. For real, Roja. And yeah, you maybe thought it was going okay, and you're like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Abandon ship. Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. <laughs> oh my god, stud luck. <laughs> Pulls that collar. Hmm. How's everyone's day going, by the way? It's nice that we're getting to cube. This is a lovely treat. For real, synth. Reese's Pieces. Ah, uh, this looks pretty decent. That 
That's not good, DC. Any day with cube is good. Yes, I feel the same. Yeah, we can have a little cube as a treat. Let me play forest first, I guess. That sounds fun, Arg. Enjoy. Hope you don't die. Yeah, family can be hard, DC, for sure. Sending you good vibes. Has Gabby become upset with saying, no, 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 I just, it blew my mind because I was so sure that that was the right way to say it. You know, it just like is a paradigm shift. What should we play first, Oko or Karn? It kind of feels like they just passed. Ugh, did we see any counter magic from them? They didn't, they're a ramp deck and they kept nothing on turn one and two. So that makes me feel like maybe we just play Karn. Karn minus. I do want to kind of play Karn though. Because it feels like the other option was Karn or Oko, Elk the Siggy. Boom, baby. I think we can aggro them out. Next turn we can go like Oko make a food and attack with Karnstruct. Make another Karnstruct. I kind of want to do that. We could also um, we could also play Edric and start drawing. New plan. Do you want to just uh, turn the coalition relic into into an elk? Yeah, that is also reasonable. And then minus Karn, and then our constructs are bigger than theirs. Yeah. Molly, why do you have to come up with uh, reasonable lines that are less fun than just drawing cards? Let's play Oko. For Loco. This is true. Molly does just draw lands. Stone reading is pretty fun. So... Do we hit? I think so. On a positive note, the extra facial PPE they gave us for today is great for cooking bacon. Love it, Bali. You all want to hear something sad? It's like a true tragedy. I had been getting pretty bad heartburn and I couldn't figure out what it was. So I was like trying to go through my diet, trying to figure out like what is causing me this heartburn. And as it turns out, and it's like now like confirmed, it's bacon. So guess who hasn't been eating bacon for like months now? Pour one out for Gooby, who loves bacon so much. But bacon doesn't love me. It was honestly like I went through a period of like, like having to adjust to this new reality. It was just truly awful. It's worth it to take the pain. Yeah, I was getting like super bad heartburn. Oh, they have an Urzaya. I believe I don't want them to have an Urza. Let's take up with you. Morning. Hey, Pandy. What lands did we get? It's Thrag Tusk or Island. So I'm going to play Island. Can we take hers? I forget how Oka works. We can't take it, but we can Elk it. And uh, if we Elk it, it doesn't make mana anymore. I feel like we don't have to do it yet. We can probably make our construct bigger by... Making a food token. You made bacon for me and my friend just didn't... Uh, yeah, a buff. It, it is hard to cook. I do agree with that. But it, it was like a true... It was a true tragedy. Because I do love the bacon. And bacon morning. I've already... I already went through the grieving process with bacon. Honestly, I'm fine now. It was a hard adjustment. I used to have it for breakfast like almost every day. You def wanted to elf the Urza. I think we can do that next turn, Molly. Kind of wanted to get these things going. That way I can um, fight the Construct and then uh, elk the Urza. Next turn we can steal if it's still there. That's true. We can exchange for five. Give him a Siggy. Take a... Take an Urza. I just felt like it wasn't really going to do that much this turn. So I thought we had some time. Oh, we can give him a food token. Oh, wow. They are just hitting. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. That is bad beats. 
<laughs> That's Keck. Mm, exchange control of... Hold on. Do I want to fight the wolf to the construct before I give him the food? I think I do. Thank you, Fidex. It is a new haircut. I appreciate that. I think that seems worth it. Just so that they don't get a bigger construct and they don't have any defense. Uh, what do you mean, DC? Epic who? Like the game store? Like the epic game store? Uh, food to Urza. Kristava! I kind of want to add Drick Molly. I don't know. Our hits aren't that good, dude. Our deck's bad. Hold on. How did I even manage to tap that so poorly? So poorly, goobs. Yeah, there's just no good hits in our deck. The only good card in our deck is currently in play. <laughs> oh, interesting, DC. Why are they trying to open? That seems wild. Seems no bueno. Oh, I could have... No, I already used these two. Never mind. Uh, draw. Draw. Loot. Oh, hello. If we loot away the forest, we can go Mox Ruby. Molly Dooley. Dark Slick Shores. And... Oh. I thought I had activated my card, but apparently I didn't. Whatever. I got a Wall of Roots. <gasps> no, King Crab, we did not. We went like 1 and 3 with it. It was horrible. Let's hope they don't have a Wrath. What could they even have? They could have Upheaval, I guess. It's still a Yikes Elf, for sure. Oh, you guys have a campus. That does make it a little bit better. It still makes it kind of seem pretty unsafe, I think. Ah, uh, Jägermeister, I have been cube drafting. Or sorry, I have been doing M21. I do want to get to Mythic, so we are going to be switching back and forth between this and cube. But I said I was going to play M21 until I hit Mythic and then play cube. And then today the cube came out and I was like, lol, I'm just going to cube. <laughs> Oh, I see DC. All right, I got you. Oh, wow, that winter orb's not going to do anything. Which cube is this? This is vintage cube. Untap. I guess dark slick shores? No, I think we're more likely to play wall of roots, I guess. Yeah, we're going to fight. And then we can maybe start turning things into 3-3 three, three so we can just kill them fast. Like, we can make one of these constructs. Yeah, they're, they're just done. Boom, baby. All right, did we... The only thing we brought in last time was a Drange Hermit because they're, you know, trying to play stacks. I don't think that situation has changed. Nope. We could play Jitte, maybe. They do have a lot of dorks-ish. Oh my gosh, right, Bert? It's funny because you look back on it and you're like, huh, that was apparently pretty lucky. What semester are you going into, DC? Are you going to be a junior? At least you're not graduating right now. Yes, congratulations on choosing a good time to graduate. You're a junior? So, you're, you're a rising junior, right? So, the next year is going to be junior, then you'll have senior year. Like, starting in September-ish. Yep, graduating right now would be the vote. I graduated in 2009, and I thought that was, like, one of the worst years to graduate, period. But as it turns out, it was this year. It was actually this year. Yeah, there's a chance that things get better right around that time, Essie. It feels like things are hopefully going to get a lot better when we get a vaccine. Dark Slick and Preordain. Uh, I don't think we want Karn. 
I do think we want forest. Oh, that's rough, Essie. That is really rough. Isn't Tomb Morrow good enough to play in Tomb? And Tomb is pretty good, Scott. I don't know if you just want to play it for Uro. If that's the only synergy you have, then probably not. What is happening? What is my opponent doing? They're losing it. I believe Molly meant worst of all time, Penguin, and the G was extra. I think he meant Wot, and then the G just kind of snuck in there. Yes, it was Wot. I knew it. Wot is just worst of all time. Goat and Wot. Mox Pearl, eh? How did they make mana so fast? They're out of control. Uh, are we gonna lose to stupid acidic slime? This is horrible. That means good friends, yo, squirrel. Everybody knows that. Good friends, yo. Hey, happy dude. Welcome. Got a blue source. Cultivate's not bad. It can help us dig out of this mulligan. What do we ban? This Leo honestly looks impossible to cast, so let's go ahead and do this. All right, so now if we draw land, we can play Cultivate and be kind of okay. Yes, this is Powered Cube. This is a Vintage Cube. Frantic Search. Their deck doesn't really seem like a Frantic Search deck, I guess. I don't really know. Did they have anything that worked with that? They've been Breeding Pool and Island, so they're kind of flooding, it seems like. Is the Puppy Treats ever going to be in stock when I come hang out? I don't know. They go, they, they, they're like the first to go in the stream, Happy Dude. They go, they go pretty fast. There's only two as well. There's only two per day. Uh, that's kind of annoying. That sounds hella sketchy, Penguin. I do not want to trade. Oh, hello. That's pretty sweet. Because that doesn't count as our land drop. Wow, that was very good. So now we can go cultivate. Do we go cultivate? We do. So we get two lands. And we get one that we can play still. So, yeah, so we can go that into Tireless Tracker. We won't get any of the clues, but I think it's good. I think it's still good. So let's get blue and green. Has anyone banked? Yes, happy to. The first time it happened was yesterday. It was pretty cool. So this one has to go into the battlefield tapped. And we can make a green source off of this, play that, make another green source off of it, and then tap it and play Tireless Slacker. Oh, loot last, classic goober. Should have definitely attacked first. Do we want land? Kind of feel like we don't, actually. Still best and you can play Oracle next turn and start drawing lands, making clues. It's possible we want to play the Nissa, actually. Okay, now that they're attacking with Acidic Slime, we can trade, slow down the clock for that stupid Hydroid Crisis. Yeah, I think so, Nether. I think we need to do something that kind of... Oh, Master of the Wild Hunt can eventually fight down the Crisis. It takes it... We play it, make a wolf, make another wolf, so it takes it three turns. Um, for it to work. I'd be at two, but we we need to kind of figure out what our options are. We could draw Birds of Paradise at Chumps. Phyrexian Metamorph can not help there. Oko would help. Bribery could help. Thragtus could help. Yo, Bim! The Bim signal! Bim, I am sad to report there is no Thragdusk in this deck. Or, I mean, a Critter of Behemoth. I think maybe we just end up playing the Nissa. I think it'll create a distraction. 
because we don't have a way to like speed up what cards we're drawing anyway and uh we can untap this forest <laughs> lol sci-fi swan that's funny and hit with everyone love it bim oh no what is this Shark Typhoon is freaking brutal, man. Yep, that was horrible. Horrible. What's the standard? Nah, this is Vintage Cube. Mm, nope. I haven't played a land this turn. If I keep Island, I could play Master of the Wild Hunt. I would have to bin like Oracle Moldiah, maybe. Oh no, so I only make one out of this. Yeah, I'm just gonna bin the Island. Wow, disaster. That was really bad. For reals, DC, they comboed us off good. Are they just going to kill my Nissa now? It does look a lot like standard. I can't blame you for thinking that it is. They're coming at me. They don't even care. Oh, I answered sincerely because a lot of people like just come in asking what format it is just straight up, you know? <laughs> it is common. Guess our Hail Mary is to just attack with Luteral Core and see if we hit bribery. The thing is trample, right? Birds keeps us alive, I guess. So we can bin probably like Karn. Go, that's one, two, three, four, five. We can play six. We can play Birds of Paradise and Whisperwood Elemental, I guess. And then Birds of Paradise is going to block the shark and we can untap a land. I guess we could just like start getting rolling with the Master of the Wild Hunt because this can just trade here and I think that's okay. Yeah, let's do it. Or even the master can trade with a Thrag Tusk, maybe. Chad, I'm sad. We're super dead here. We manifested a forest. Oracle to not get Lance next turn. It's not actually going to change our draw step because we have no way of... Oh, I guess we could, like, take lands from the top and then loot into something with Luteral Core. So maybe that's a little bit better. Okay, they shellied. Okay, so they're going to attack with those two. Oh, they're not attacking Thragtosk. That's good for me. I don't know if there's a card that saves us. I mean, we could try... Um, I think the best we can do really is just try to hit Bribery and see if there's anything in their deck that gets us out of this. Sure. Yes, PCM, it, it's extremely confusing. I, I don't, I can't really like recommend M2GO that way to you. You have to want to learn the interface for it to, for it to make sense. Okie dokie. So. Yep, yeah, hitting a metamorph would be good too. That, that could definitely do it. Although, then we don't have a flying blocker, though. Elking, Elking doesn't really help. Because we still don't have a blocker for the Shark Typhoon. I think we just have to do kind of a YOLO play. I don't think we want Oracle first. Let's look at our actual outs. What are our actual outs? We took out Regrowth, I want to say. An actual out might be Thrag Tusk. I go up to... No, it's not enough. Bribery. Could do it. Metamorph. Metamorph can't really copy those very well. I guess I can copy the shark and then we still die. 
Okay, I believe our only answer could be bribery. If that's the case, we should not play Oracle Moldaya first. Because we also can't tap, given how few things, how much stuff they have in play. We just attack them and see if we hit bribery. Bribery! Come on! Yeah, Metamorph Cloning Goose. Ugh. So Oracle Moldai wouldn't have cleared that out of the way either. Bummer. We lose. <sighs> they revealed their hand. They had Woodfall Primus. Had we gotten Woodfall Primus, we could have booped the either this or this, but then we still died of that. Yes, Powered Cube is back. I know, Ripperonis. We get to play last round, though. That's true, Archie. Agreed. This hand looks okay, actually. We get to curve this into Leo or this into Edric. Metamorph can copy the Master and make a wolf and tap. No pockets, because the wolves get made on our upkeep. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's at the beginning of your upkeep you make a green wolf, so we, we we don't get to do that. Hey, Chris! Oh, we could metamorph a wolf token? That's still We still die, though, because we, we use the two wolf tokens to fight one of the flyers, and then they hit me for another four. We would need a second way to... Like, had we gotten metamorph earlier, maybe we can try to make that play. It kind of seems like we were boned there. We didn't we didn't have any outs in our deck. We, they, maybe they had something in theirs. Regrowth and Island. I actually think we want neither. Bottom, bottom. No, totally, Jameson. I mean, I think in that spot it does make sense to try to be creative with how you can get out of that situation because we are pretty much dead. I don't... Oh no! How dare they? Ted, that's so rude! Of all the Inquisitions, we had to face the one from Kozilek. I know, Judge, my opponent is playing good card! Wah. Oh, they took Mana Leak. Interesting. They either have a lot of removal or... I don't really know. Yeah, Jameson, for sure. I mean, we're definitely going to play Lotus Cobra. They probably are going to boot my Cobra and then I'm going to play an Edric. Did they just skip through their combat phase and finish on, and they're on their second main phase? Weird. Garrick Wild Speaker. Okay, they're just taking a shot in the dark. So, given given this thing, I think we want to go forest, make a black source. Because it looks like this is a removal heavy deck, so we might as well just... Uh... Yeah, exactly, Jameson. I think we want to Leo while we can. Don't think we need to hit with a Lotus Cobra. That well, Garrick Wild Speaker is not actually locking down a Garrick. And... Um... If we play Edric next turn, we just get to hit with both. I think they have something they really want to resolve. Yeah, I mean, they obviously didn't want to play against the counter spell, but maybe they're mana screwed and they can't play whatever they wanted to play at three or something. That's pretty good. We should just do that. That's not bad. And we're done. I was wandering around trust one day and then my friend Leo was treating me okay. 
I kind of wish we would have gotten a chance to see what was cooking in there. So they look like they're a removal heavy deck, probably. Oh, I can't blame them, Archie. What are you going to do? They were also mana screwed. I guess I could see Drange Hermit against a deck that's playing a lot of removal. Like, we're never going to pay to keep the Drange Hermit, but I could see it being good at attacking through stuffs. I could see that, Viper Magus. Yeah, that makes sense also, Beer Mystic. Yeah, that makes sense, Jameson. I don't know the reanimator necessarily. Because black red is not really like the reanimator colors. It's like blue black is a little bit better. They could be just like a red black deck with stuff like the ready, maybe. Let's make another cut. We wanna You can do it with red. There are things. There's through the breaches and I guess there's Luca now also. There's like Faithless looting. Really, Molly? That's kind of intense. I think they're playing a lot of removal, so... And they're playing Inquisition, so Regrowth does look okay. I actually think maybe that Snapcaster looks kind of feast here. They played a lot of small cards, and Snapcaster doesn't have that many targets. Ah, bummer. I think we should mulligan this. We are on the draw, but it's just not good. Keep... Send back a forest. Done. Have <laughs> him. Don't Inquisition. Don't Inquisition. Don't Inquisition. Don't Inquisition. Stupid. I like it better when they didn't cast Inquisition. I know, I'm always stupid. If we draw a blue source, this is probably still okay. Uh, now we can cast Leo, I guess. It's not nothing. My opponent loves skipping through their main phase. This is like the third time I've seen them do that. Oh my god, get out. Get out. They're gonna take my Siggy, probably. Oh. Bad draw, but... Kind of thought they would take my Siggy. Why did they take Edric? I can't even cast it. Sure. Me too, Fiddles. It's going to be good. I am looking forward to drafting again. Are they missing land drops? No, they just... Oh, they're shocking. Wow, this was a pretty good... Wishclaw Talisman? Excuse me? What in the world is going on over there? All right, well, I can play Whisperwood Elemental next turn. What Are they, like... What's happening here? Remove a Wish Counter from Wishclaw Talisman. Search your library for a card put into your hand and shuffle your library. An opponent gains control of Wishclaw Talisman. Active disability only during your turn. Yeah, were they secretly Storm? <laughs> it just didn't look like a Storm deck. They could be a red-black kind of combo-ish deck. That, that would be... I would I would believe that. Um, Emerald Storm since they scooped to bribery. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. I could see Welder Deck too. It also could be somewhere in between. Like it it it, it could be a mix of all those things. Like, they could be a Duretti deck that also maybe has, like, reanimator stuff going on it. Could also be Grixis Pile. I kind of feel like they're just red-black. I think they picked up a Siggy, but I think this might be just an off-color Siggy. We haven't seen a single blue card from them in the last game and this game also. Nothing. Okay. Bummer. Bad draws.
All right, Whisperwood Elemental, I need you to do the thing. <laughs> good, good job manifesting a preordain that we can never cast. You did a good job, Whisperwood Elemental. Yeah, for sure, Andy, that's what I was thinking. It might just be like a mix of all the things. All of the above. You like the grading on my screen border? Thank you. This one is no longer animated, but for the podcast that I do, it actually like moves around. So you know how like this side is kind of like teal and then that side over there is blue. It moves around like very slowly. Oh, baby, we've got action. We've got action. I repeat, the talisman has been activated. Thank you, I'm Joe. I appreciate it. I made it myself. <laughs> oh no, foo, the cone of shame. Not the cone of shame. It's good for your doggo, though. Yeah, now we get to see what they're cooking with. Let me see what you're working with. They sure are tanking. Oh, hi. Um, I don't believe they reveal, no. I think they just draw it and then shuffle. Oh, cute foo! Yes, it is kind of spooky with the, like, li little, little dogs, but it sounds like it, things went well. Yeah, what do we search with Wishclaw? Do we just get Island? Let me see this, Dokomoi. <gasps> oh my god, the cone of shame! So cute, though. What cutie. Is that Freddy or Grape? Oh my gosh, that is some tech, Yuka. I like that. That's Freddy. What a cutie. <laughs> That's the tech. This was the tech. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not even mad. I'm just impressed. They, they for sure tutored for that. That's amazing. Kuba Libre, welcome. That makes me want to go get a Kuba Libre myself. That was wild. I kind of loved it, honestly. It was kind of sick. All right, let's just uh, keep attacking. See, I don't think there's Storm. I think they're just like a red-black deck with stuff and thingies. Maybe I should hold lands in hand. I feel like if they're going to make me discard, they're just going to mind twist me or something. I guess I could have, like, him to Torek, in which case it's better to have a land. Oh, manifest check. Why did you tell me to manifest check, Molly? Molly, that was bad. That was bad. I didn't want to see that. <laughs> All right, let's just keep on trucking. Wait, bizarre. My bonus deck is wild, dude. BK, hush. Also, the worst part about it is that we lost the cobra, so <laughs> it's not like we can like poof two blue mana out of nowhere. Me, me. Can I actually get like a thrag tusk or something? Just, just, really. Are they just doing that to save some lives? All right, come on, baby. Thrag Tusk, it's your time. Or Master the Wild Punt, please. Or, geez, I don't know. Even like, Molly Dooley, Molly Dooley. Hold on. Oh my God, it's this bug again. <gasps> it's the bug again. Okay, so the last time I encountered this bug, Okay, it's, it's, it's that bug. It's the bug. Last time I encountered this bug, no matter what I copied, this manifest turned into a mirage swamp. Okay. So I'm going to copy the Whisperwood Elemental, but I'm pretty sure it's just going to turn into a mirage swamp. Ready? 
It didn't turn into a swamp. It's just a metamorph. Okay. Okay. No, I know it doesn't turn face up, Nucleo, but it, it that's still a it like this is what happened in the bug last time I encountered it. Cause you're not supposed to get a you're not supposed to get a dialogue there for, for this thing at all. Alright, we're gonna flip it and reverse it. Oh, I have to pay for Exion. Hold on. Can I flip it? Oh no, it won't no, it won't work. You should see what happens if you flip it up. BK, why are you so bad? BK's bad. Mm. That was good. BK, get get out. Leave. I just want to play this. That was really good baiting. I thought BK knew something I didn't. Bad BK. Ooh, they're getting frisky. Oh, maybe they have, like, uh, reanimate, the instant speed reanimate, the two mana instant speed reanimate. Ashen Rider? Spooky. Jeez, they're gonna, they're gonna reanimate it. Yeah, Shallow Grave, that's the one I was thinking of. Or, like, Makeshift Mannequin would do it, too, I think. I think they have it. Oh, shit. That's for reals. Oh, shoot. I wanted to sack it. All right. We're still going to. It wouldn't have mattered. It matters for like regrowth. All right. We're going to get to draw some. Yep. Yep. Draw mox, draw mox, draw mox, mox, mox. <laughs> cool. That was a perfect time to flip for science. <laughs> All right. Ashen Rider triggers on dies, right? Or dies. But. Okay, well, they did cast it with buyback. Do they have anything else in there? No, they do have the bazaar, though. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, Jacoby. Welcome on in. It's good to have you here. Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker Liliana of the Veil in Corpse Dance. Oh, they, they didn't cast it with buyback. I thought they had enough mana. What happened? Yeah, they were reanimator all along. Oh, they bent. They looted it away. Strange. I wonder what happened. I wonder why they would loot it away. Janus, welcome. Do I don't think there's a reason for me to play any of these before combat. So let's just slay. Oh, hey, it's a bribery. Yeah, it is. It's stupid. It's Janus, it's the only good card in our deck. There's literally only one. Oko and bribery. <laughs> we two won this cube draft solely on the back of Oko and bribery because there was not another playable card. This is the deck, look. It's just a pile. Actual pile of feasts. Bribery was good. I guess Leo's good if we could ever cast it, which was not very often. <laughs> And uh, Oko. And between the two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Mox Ruby's good. All right. We managed to pick out four good cards in our deck. Uh, Metamorph's pretty good, too. That's it. <laughs> Time to write the real vintage cube deck. Yes, this deck was very fair. I'm surprised we actually even could get, like, two wins with it. Uh, let me wrap this up for the YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed another Vintage Cube draft. Vintage Cube is out this entire month, so there should be a lot of Vintage Cube coming to the YouTubes. Um, if you would like to see other videos, they're on youtube.com slash gabbysparts. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I would super appreciate it if you did, because that helps the stream and channel out. And if you are going to buy anything on Channel Fireball, you can use the code Gabby to support the stream. Thank you, YouTube. See you later.
If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.